neighborhoods. And there's something, when you see the way some of the, these families are living, it, it feels like, you know, if, if you spend a, a, any time there, you could see how they could feel like they were sort of the last people on earth, you know, and um, it has a twilight zone quality, it had a fairy tale, a dark fairy tale quality, uh, it, it had, it just lended itself to fantasy, I mean, it's so, it's so hard to believe that it's real, you know, and I just felt like as opposed to sort of telling their story in a literal way where just keeping it specific to Detroit, I felt like it would make it more accessible to more people to access the emotion of those characters if it wasn't about some sort of, you know, economic collapse. But I also wanted to see it through the lens of these two kids growing up in this place and that they would have this romantic idea of why this was happening to them because if, if that it was a spell, you know, that that, that that would make it seem important somehow and that if, at least if it was a spell, it would be something that they could do something about, maybe they could break it. But I wanted to see it through that sort of teenage, really hyper-romantic lens.